justifiably proud of his club right now. Regardless of the outcome of this game, what a game and what a performance by him as a coach and his troops tonight. 76 apiece, overtime. Miller and Earl will jump with Poplowski filed out. And rem uh, remember, Miller's got four personals, too. And if they lose him, they've got nobody to handle A.C. Earl. Nice job by Kevin Smith on position to get that ball. I'd look right inside to A.C. Earl immediately. And I'd drive on Miller if I was him. I'm not. But he pulls up and was short on the baseline. Followed it. That's where you've got to go offensively. You've got to get the ball to the big guy. 26 points for A.C. Earl. A steal by Murray. Looking Bill is foul going up by Snow. And that's four on Eric. When your offense gets to going, it really kind of excites your defense. Tom Davis has got his press going now. And that's all they need. Look at look at Bill right here. Watch Murray come over, make the good steal. Good athletic play to pull that one down. Got it right back to looking Bill, who's got a chance now to can a couple of free throws. Wade, a 6'5", senior out of Fort Dodge, Iowa. Fifth point of the night, his first of, I was going to say the second half, but his first of the last 20 minutes and some change. We're in overtime. Nailed them both. Here comes that press again. Iowa has not had a four-point lead all night until now. Good time to do it telling you what that's the game clock in the corner in our overtime session and the Iowa Hawkeyes somehow lead by four points and I mean somehow because they were totally out of this game in the second half Stevens wants to do something with the ball Miller cannot get free of Earl inside now Snow's going to handle it here's the man that's got to start to light it up his rester He'll pull up the paint from 12, and he did light it up. 20 for him, uh, make it 21. Two-point game. Now, Brad, what got Iowa this lead was the transition game and the good defense, run up and down the floor. If this gets into a half-court game, I think it really favors Michigan State. Barnes, Barnes again, Barnes. as he hits some unbelievable shots tonight. Another steal, steal by Murray. His second of the overtime. Follows his own miss. Barnes again. Oh, that press is working like a gym now. Six-point Iowa lead. And I mean, this Michigan State crowd is in shock. Well, they're confident. The Hawk guys look confident. You look in their eyes right now, and you can see it. No. Restaurant's about their only shooter left on the floor. And he's short with that one. And the Spartans may be a little bit tired. We talked about Iowa's legs. Now Snow handling the basketball, or Smith handling the basketball against Snow. I'll tell you what, if I'm Iowa, I'm going to take care of it now. I built myself a good lead. Protect the ball. Whoops, Smith stepped over the line. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Snow, though, for a knee to help him across the line, and that is it for Eric Snow. Now Judd is without his starting center and his starting point guard. UCLA and USC already underway. We'll keep you posted on that game. Barry and Paul will have it for you when we're done with overtime here, but tied early in the L.A. Sports Arena. About the benches a little change a little contrast in the way they look one sitting the other up Kevin Smith first free throw attempt of the night 59 percent on the year he's getting the air ball chant from a couple of three-pointers he's missed one in each half Ooh, that'll quiet him down a little bit he had a season high of nine points in a recent game against Ohio State He's got eight now, a chance to tie his season high if he hits this. Mike Poplowski has been gone since 
late in regulation. That one comes off and Miller, who else, for another rebound. Screen for Respert right now. Set the screens for him. They may need a three or two here. Nobody's setting any picks for him. Wyshynski can also hit the outside jumper. He flies in the lane. Tips it back in. Oh, Wyshynski over Earl. Huh? How about that? 19 for quick Chris Wyshynski. Now Michigan State doing something they don't do very often. Press. And Wyshynski picks up the foul. So Wyshynski went miss, rebound, tip, foul, all in about 10 seconds. 85 to 80, Iowa with 150 left in overtime. Watch it again, Wyshynski goes inside, lets the shot go. Now watch him go back up and tip this ball in. This is a heck of a tip in right here. Look at that, right over AC Earl. Not an easy chore. He is fouled out now with 19 points. We got Damon Bethea in the game. He did a good job of the first half in spot duty with four points. But he doesn't have that outside shooting threat of Wyshynski, who's gone. Three Spartans have fouled out. Boy, and Kevin Smith is just guiding those things up there. I'll tell you what, for a guy who shoots 58%, he needs to guide them a little bit. Well, he's got two out of three tonight. Every one, every next one is the biggest, no matter who's at the line. And he got them both. That's his season high in scoring. And it puts his team back in front by seven. Playing big when he has to. Miller right back to Nicodemus. He'll try baseline jumper. Nice shot. Timeout, Michigan State. One minute, 36 seconds left in overtime, and Iowa with a five-point lead. Red Nutler and Larry Conley, Breslin Center, East Lansing, Michigan, where Iowa saw Michigan State come out with a 16-0 run to start the second half. They trailed by as many as 17 in that second half. Val Barnes hit a three-pointer. With about 20 seconds left in the game, descended to overtime, tied at 76, and now it's 87-82, Iowa. And there's what's left. Timeouts, one for Iowa, two for Michigan State. Both teams over the limit of the possession arrow in favor of the Spartans. Here's that backcourt pressure again by Michigan State. All right, they need steals immediately. That's a hold, yeah. It'll be a foul on Respert. He's about the only guy not in foul trouble. I think they're going to continue to challenge Kevin Smith to walk to that line and make those free throws. He's hit, what, three out of four? Three out of four. See, I listen to you. <laughs> I'm glad somebody I work with does. <laughs> Kevin Smith, 5'11", junior, out of Fort Worth, Texas. He has hit three of four free throws here in our extra stanza. Oh, he's got it working right now. Illinois and Wisconsin both with upset wins. The last home win almost a month ago. And as Judd told Larry before the game, man, we got to get a win at home in the conference. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen tonight either if Iowa can hold on now to what's become, again, a six-point lead. Still time left, but Respert and company are going to have to start to light it in a hurry. Here he is. Adjusted his shot. But Thea pulled out a tough rebound. It goes right back up. Earl on the back side. Stevens fouls Barnes. Well, we're going to get a free throw shooting contest right now. There's Judd Heathcote. He's got to be awfully depressed the way his club played, particularly with that start of the second half. Well, they've already gone through their first TV timeout at the L.A. Sports Arena. <laughs> USC 16-14 over UCLA. We'll be going out there as soon as we wrap up this thriller in the Big Ten. Barnes is the guy that really got Iowa here. A.C. Earl had a gigantic second half, but that three-point shot he hit was one he won't forget soon. He has 26 points. 27 now. That matches his season high against Ohio State. Guys are really stepping up big right now, making those free throws. 
foul on looking bill. Looking bill thought it should have been on Resper. They'll walk it down. 113 left. Well, that's the last thing you want. I mean, if you're up right now by eight away from home, you don't want to commit a foul. Watch looking bill right to Resper trying to get free. Oh, he grabbed him around the neck. Almost had a takedown there. You know what? I might agree. I might I might side with Looking Bill on that particular call. Looking Bill's played some tough defense tonight as he forced a 10-second call earlier in a string of turnovers by Michigan State that also helped Iowa get back in. Everybody's contributed. Here's Sean Respert. 6-3 sophomore out of Detroit. Now all those free throw guys are back down inside for Michigan State. They've come back from that defensive stance they do on free throws, and now everybody's down there. And the reason is they're going to press. They come straight out of this free throw and go right into their defensive full court pressure. Ah. Resford got them both. 23 for him. The lead is six for Iowa. We approach the one minute mark and a foul on Damon Bethea. Big foul, 23, Bethea is second. Tom Davis telling his troops where to be after these free throws. He's going to back off some of his people, too. And I don't think the Spartans can believe it. Very sad-looking group of Spartans. I'll tell you what, with that start in the second half, I thought they were going to blow Iowa right out of here, but they... I'll tell you what, that's a gutsy comeback by Iowa. Really was. On the road, coming in here after all of what they've gone through the last week. Barnes still perfect from the line. No Sometimes tra tra tragedies have a tendency to bring people together. Maybe that's what will happen to this Iowa club. Now you got to know who this game is for. And the Iowa Hawkeyes have filled the bill tonight. Stevens. That was a three. It didn't go. Respert's the guy. They want to handle it outside that arc. He's just looking for an opening. Nicodemus. He hit from the baseline last time, feeds Respert. Steven just throws one up there. Now, is he outside the three-point line? Oh, yes, so. he's going to get three. It looked like one of those NBA shots with about one second left on the clock for the shot clock. They just Muscle throw it up, up there. there. Yeah. Look at this right here. I think maybe they did get away with a walk. Steve Nicodemus with a good kick-out pass right there. Respert missed an easy one. Wayne Stevens going to the free throw line where he's two for two tonight. Eight points on the game. Hasn't scored in overtime yet. Every miss is costly. This could cut it back to six, but only 48 seconds left. Uh, 6 7 freshman. Leading scorer in Akron, Ohio, the past couple years as a high school player in there to try to help offensively. And we have a whistle and a foul immediately on the inbounds pass. That's on Stevens again. That's four on him. Remember, three Spartans have already fouled out in Poplowski, Wyshynski, and Snow. Three starters. Lost three tenths of a second on that particular possession. At the line, Remember the disheartening loss to Wisconsin that Larry mentioned down up by 10 against the Badgers and came back and lost in the final second and a half. I asked Judd Heathcote, I said, Coach, is everybody over that yet? He said, The players get over it, the coaches never do. And the players are going to have a hard time getting over this one tonight if indeed Iowa holds on to win. Bartle's first point of the night. Going for number 94 on the evening. 94, 86. And Iowa comes back with their defensive squad now. Bartle goes to the sideline. Rebound Murray. And immediately a foul before the outlet pass. That's on Stevens, and that'll do it for Dwayne, too. 
He'll leave with 10 points and foul out with 40 seconds left in overtime. And I think that caused the exodus of many of the Michigan State faithful right now. Boy, they did just start heading to the gates, didn't they? Murray at the line, two. set a record tonight for the number of free throws attempted. They've been to that line a lot in the second half. You know who this game and this season is for? Their teammate Chris Street. And you know that also he's got better seats tonight than anybody in the building and how proud he must be of his teammates. 95-86. I was going to win this thing. Looking, Bill, the rebound. Final 25 seconds. In a game that will be cherished for a long time by Iowa's players and fans and one that Michigan State will have a hard time forgetting. And what a coaching job by Tom Davis in light of the circumstances of the past 12 days. Nicely done, Iowa. They never gave up. Brooks hits it. Quinton's first basket of the night. 95-88, foul in the final couple of seconds. That one's going to be on Miller. He'll be another player to leave. Is that five now? Yep. Nine points for Miller as he leaves. A.C. Earl, we talked about the quiet first 14 or 15 points he had, and then he started screaming with him after that. And he's got 26 on the night. Really got him when they needed him, too. I mean, when it got to be crunch time, when they were making that run, he was involved in it. He was in the midst of everything that was going on, right in the middle of the action. If you're just tuning in for UCLA, USC, we'll be going straight out to that game, but hopefully you haven't missed this one, or at least some of it, as Iowa overcame an 11-point deficit in the first half to lead by a point at halftime. Michigan State went on a 16-0 run to open the second half and led by as many as 17. Iowa came back. Val Barnes hit a three-pointer in the late stages to tie it at 76. We now have 5.7 seconds left in overtime, and Iowa is set to pull off a stunning victory. Number four. Looks like George Ravlin's got his Trojans ready to play tonight. Those eyes are blinking for a reason, folks. How proud can you get as a coach, huh? Yeah. It's got to feel awfully good. Final shot coming up. It'll end up 96 to 90. That basket is good. An unbelievable comeback by the Iowa Hawkeyes. And the entire state of Iowa can be very proud as A.C. Earl points to the 40 in the back of his head. For Larry Conley, I'm Brad Nessler. Thanks for being with us in East Lansing, USC and UCLA coming up next.